in this video I'm going to talk about increasing by a given percent uh, so this is a simple question so let us start with a very simple question the price of a TV sorry a t-shirt was $160 and has now increased by 20% what is the present price of the t-shirt now you can do this in two ways um, first I'll show you how to do in the long way and then we can do it in a shorter way you can use the calculator or even without the calculator so whenever you have the word 20% you should think how can I find 20% of 160 dollars I think the question is quite clear the t-shirt was priced at 160 and it has gone up by 20% and you want to find the present t-shirt so basically what you have to do is you have to find 20% of 160 and then add that amount to this 160 and then you will get the present price. So let us do, so the first question is how can I find 20% of 160 dollars, that's my first question. Okay, so if you have heard my previous videos on converting or finding percent of a given number or a quantity this is how I think so I say okay how much is 10% of 160 so 10% is 1 tenth 10% 10 you should understand is 1 tenth of any quantity so 10% if someone is asking what is 10% 10 they are asking 10%if-someone-is-asking-what-is-10%-they-are-asking-you-to-divide-this-by-10-that-is-pretty-easy so you do 160 divided by 10 is $16, okay? So 10% is $16. This would imply 20% would be, if 10% is $16, 20% would be, yes, double of this, which is 32. So you have found 20%, and this has to be added on to the price. So the you can say the present price this is the long way present price is 160 plus 32 which is 192 dollars this is fine but we need to be smart and try to do in one step I want to do this is two steps first you have found 20 percent and then you have added on the 20 percent to the to the last price or the price before the increase now let us think about how to do this in a smart way. So let me, okay, let us think in a different way. So let me change color, uh, which color would be good. So let me take, say, a blue color. Okay. So when <coughs> you're talking about, uh, you should be knowing that when I was, say, 100%, is the whole number so can I say 100% is 1 if you say 100% is 1 50% just to explain 50% is half okay all of you understand 50% is half which is 0 0.5 so if 50% is half 100% would be the whole that's 1 so if 100% is 1 okay so let me ask you a question. Suppose if $100 is say increased by 20%, if $100, 20%, you should understand it's 20 out of 100. So if someone is asking you if $100 is increased by 20%, what would be the increased amount? So that's pretty easy. 20% of 100 is 20. So that's, I can say 100, this is whole, and 20% is 20 of 100. So we know that is $120. So let me say it again. If 100%, $100 is increased by 20%, you get $120. Now, if someone is asking you if 100 cents is increased by 20%, how much would that be? If $100 is increased by 20%, you get $120. So 
So if I'm asking you if 100 cents is increased by 20 percent, that would be, use the same logic, to 120 cents. Now you know 100 cents is same as, this is same as one dollar. Okay, one dollar has 100 cents. So if one cent is increased by 20 percent, can you understand one dollar would become one dollar twenty, one point twenty. So this one twenty cents can be written as one point two zero dollars, which is one dollar twenty cents, because one twenty cents is hundred cents plus twenty cents. So this is a very important information that we are going to use. So if one cent, sorry, one dollar, if it's increased by twenty percent, becomes one dollar twenty. My question is, if suppose you have $160 and you want to increase it by 20%, what should you do? If $1 increases to $1.20 by increasing by 20%, and now my question is, if 160 is increased by 20%, I think you can understand the, where am I going. So this, is one, this would be 160 times... 1.2 or 1.20. So here, this number is called a factor. So if 20%, if anything is increased by 20%, if you multiply by 1.2, you would get the same answer. So let us do this on a calculator. We know already know the answer. It's 192. So I'll bring my calculator up. So this is my simple graphic calculator. So you can use you can have even a simple calculator. You can go 160 times 1.20. You can write 1.2. Zero is only a placeholder there. So that's 192. Okay. So simple. If you know, this is called a factor of increasing by 20%. So this is $192, just like that. Okay. Let us look at the next question. One more question. Mr. Albert used to weigh 80 kg. His weight has increased by 60% in five years. Okay, five years is not the focus here. The focus is 60%. Okay, what is his present weight? So the key words is he used to weigh 160. So this is a key information. This is the next information. And you want to find what is his present age. So, basically, it's, a, it's the same question, same type of question. You want to find 60%, we'll do both ways. So, 60% of 80 is what we want to find. So, 60%, uh, 60, you can do this. Uh, I, I would like you to do without the calculator. So, what is 10%? Uh, so, let us start with 50%. What is 50%? 50% of this, of 80, is 40 kg. And what is 10%? 10% is one tenth of this, which is 8 kg. So, if 50% is 40 kg, let me write kg here, this is kg. So, 60% would be 48 kg. And you want to increase Mr. Albert, Albert's weight increased from 60 by 60%. So this is 60%. So his present weight, present weight would be 60, no, sorry, 50, he, he weighed how much? 80. So this is, was his previous weight. And this is the increase in the weight, plus 48, which is 128 kg. This is your answer. Okay, now this is a long way, but let us do in the sh uh, smarter way, the short way, in one step. How can we do this? So, uh, so again, let me explain the same argument. If 100 cents, if 100 cents, increases by 60%, that would become 
160 cents. So that same thing, same argument can be said that is same as telling one dollar, not one dollar, uh, let us let us use a different, we're talking in weight, so let's talk in terms of weight. Sorry, so we will say if 100 kg, 100 kg, no, so, so let us use the example of cents, that would be good. So, 100 cents, when it's increased by 60 percent, becomes 160 cents. So, the same argument, the same thing can be said. One dollar, when it increases by 60 percent, it becomes one dollar 60, 1.6. So, this and this are the same. Okay. So using the same argument, 1 kg, 1 kg, when it increases by 60 percent, would become 1.60 kg. Same argument, okay? This is 1 dollar, 60 percent increases to 1 dollar 60. So 1 kg, when it increases by 60 percent, would become 1.60. So can you see this is a factor? So, my question is, I want to increase 80 kg by 60 percent. So, I can say 80 kg, if you want to increase by 60 percent, you have to multiply it by this factor. So, this is called the factor of increasing by 60 percent. So, 80 times 1.6, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, 1.60. So let us do it on a calculator. So this is uh, menu run. So I go 80 times 1.60. That's 128. And that's what we got doing the long way. That is 128 kgs. I'll do two more examples in the next video. See you in the next video.